I was just downstairs working on a chainsaw. My wife comes in. She says, I got to make something for Autumn for lunch. Can I take those thighs and make like this chicken dip? And I'm like, Autumn doesn't like thighs. I'm like, she doesn't like chicken. Like, why don't we do something else? So I get thinking. Come on. So I get thinking. What are we going to make? What are we going to do? I always have pasta on hand. Always have pasta. Remember that from the other day? I said, you got to have pasta. So I got pasta, spaghetti. What can I make with a spaghetti? You know what? If you have kids, you have to have eggs and you have to have bacon. Automatically, I'm thinking eggs, bacon, pasta. What can I make? Carbonara. I don't even know how to make carbonara, right? I haven't a clue, but they have this thing called the internet. Look it up, people. Look it up. So I know I looked it up. Bacon. Do I have bacon? Absolutely. Got bacon. Do I have eggs? Got eggs. I'm halfway there. Do I have any cheese? If you have kids, if you have a fridge, you got to have cheese. Calls for Pecorino Romano. I happen to have some. But if you don't, throw Parmesan in. Just double it. Make it work. My kids like garlic. I might add a little garlic. I might tweak it a little bit. But I have bacon, I have eggs, I have pasta, I have cheese. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Love. I got to make it with some love, people. I'm back. So what I've done is I've got my egg. There's two egg yolks and two eggs. I've got pecorini, romano, like all whipped, whisked together here. We've got a pasta on the stove. It's a real easy recipe. We've got... I rendered bacon. I added some hard salami just to change it up a little bit. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe add a little lemon at the very end. But my pasta has to finish. When I, when I come back, I'll pull it all together and show you how it looks. All right, so my pasta's done. It's al dente, a little less than al dente because we got to finish it up in our pan right now. So we'll add this to the pan. We're going to let it cook for like a minute or two. And trust me, I've never made this before. I've never made this before. So I'm going by what I read on the internet. So we'll cook it around. We'll get it moving a little bit. Always keep it moving when you have pasta in the pan. You don't want it to stick. And what I've also done, it said, and all this is on the internet. I follow the recipe. I got a big bowl full of hot water. So there's hot water in there, keeps the bowl nice and warm. We're just gonna empty that out. We'll put this over here, our pasta's cooking. Finish it, we'll toss it around with that nice hot salami and bacon. Once we get some good heat in there and that grease is a little absorbed, we'll take it, we're gonna put it right in our bowl. Right in the bowl like so. And then once we do that, make sure we do that. we're going to take this mixture, right? This is just going to go right into the pasta. That is goody fatness right there, so you want to get all of it. Get ourselves a little scraper. Scrape that down. Make sure you get all that goodness out of there. Now, mind you, this dish is a really fatty dish. It's supposed to be that way. But you know what? Sometimes you just have to go with your gut. And my gut's telling me right now it's gonna be too fatty. It's got all that bacon in there. Oh my God, take a look at that. This looks beautiful. So what we'll do, cause I'm at home, right? I'm at home, I'm not in a restaurant. I can do what I wanna do. I'll taste it. You know what I forgot? I forgot the pepper. So what I'll do is I'll add a little salt, put some pepper on there. The fat's not too bad. I might hit it with a little bit of lemon, but look, bottom line, I didn't have anything in my fridge. That is homemade carbonara. I've never made it before. <laughs>